Today I am going to show you how I draw my cactuses and with that I'm going to show you how I make my drawings into SVG files. Well, more like computerized clip art. And from there, I will show you how you could use your drawn images in your Cricut design. And at the end of this video, I will show you how I made this. The point of this video is mainly how I make my own images for my projects. Lately, I've been kind of starting to do that. Instead of Googling things, I've been trying to come up with my own images just because now I own the copyrights to all the images and I could show them to people, I could sell the images, I could make things out of them without worrying about giving the credit to the right people. Also, I'm going to show you how I will be working with these cute pattern iron-ons. It's by Krika. <music> I'm going to begin with drawing out my little images and right now I'm going to just draw little cactuses silhouettes and I just freehand draw them. It doesn't have to be perfect because I do have to fix them up on my computer and I'll also show you how to do that in the next step. kind of just come up with these images is um, I either look at the real cactuses like my mom has a bunch in her backyard or Google cactus images um, I usually like to look at the real ones and I kind of look at them and draw and add my own little thing I don't look at the already made images the clip art just because I don't want to accidentally copy the exact image of somebody else's work and now I'm going to get a sharpie and go over the lines this way when I scan this it would just show better and that's it and I'm not going to draw on the spikes just because I'm going to do that on the computer now I'm gonna show you how I put these on the computer I'm going to scan my drawings. I'm going to place the images upside down into my scanner. If you're using this kind of scanner, you could scan it to your SD card. After that's done, I'm gonna switch the papers and scan my other image. Now, if you don't have a scanner, you could also place your image on a flat table and get your phone and snap a picture of it. And on your phone, you could also edit it by using free apps, or if you have an iPhone, you could do it the way I did it, you could rotate the image, you could straighten it, you could also make the background more brighter and contrast it so the drawing is a little bit more standing out. Now pull it up on your computer and I'm gonna quickly save it. See those are my scanned images. That's what they look like. I'm going to flip them over to the right side. And I'm going to open my image with this paint app that I have on my Mac. I know that there's also a free program on uh, Windows computers. It's pretty much the same thing. There's another thing I like to do is go to this website the link is below in description and it's free and you just upload your image and click trace and once it's done tracing a screen will pop up and as you can see it's a little better and more cleaner than the image that I have up scanned now you could save that image that was traced and you could upload the exact image to your Krika. And I'm gonna show you real quick what it looks like if you do that. I'm gonna drag it, I'm gonna put simple, continue, and remove the background. And this is what it looks like, but I'm also gonna zoom in and use that little eraser tool and erase those little extra lines on the side. <music> that is 
is done. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna upload it. And I'm gonna separate the two images by inserting a square shape and placing it over one part, selecting both of the images and clicking slice, and now the image is separated. I'm gonna click that little printer button and select cut. And as you could see, there it is. This is all very simple, but I like my lines to be even cleaner than that, so I'm gonna show you what I actually do. So I'm gonna pull up the picture that I scanned, and this is what I do to most of my images that I draw. I'm gonna go on my paint, and I'm gonna select the curve, and just draw. I'm gonna draw a line, and they have two little blue circles each line, and I'm gonna move them around and drag them around so it matches the lines that I drew. I learned this actually from um, Adobe Illustrator when I took graphic design class back in 2008. Um, no, I did not pass that class. Anyway, so it's just something I learned in there. And the cool thing is that Paint has it because Adobe is kind of expensive and I don't have that program. But anyway, so this is what I do. And I just kind of traced all. Once that's done, you're going to select that little paint and I'm gonna paint the whole thing. And it, on mine, it leaves that little white line, so I'm just gonna click the little brush, and I'm gonna brush it over with the same color that I painted my image with. And I'm just gonna go over all the little white spots. <laughs> going to remove the background by clicking my paint and my paint has a selection where it has that little white square with the red line that removes background and I'm gonna save it and um, you could watch I'm gonna save it as a PNG file and that will save the image without the background now I'm gonna show you how I uploaded to Cricut so drag your file, just click a simple or complex. I usually do complex. And this one doesn't have a background already because that's how I saved it. And you just save it. To add spikes. So I duplicated that same file. So one file is going to be no spikes, but the second one is going to be spikes. All I did was just draw a triangle, like a skinny one. And I'm copying and pasting the triangle and adding it to the cactus just all over random places if i want the spike to be facing a different way i just copy and paste it and i click that little rotate button and i rotate it and copied that one and paste it all over the place so this is kind of a lot of work but i mean if this is your drawing after that and you could sell your images you could use them however you want to there's gonna be no copyrights nothing i mean you are the owner of the image so you have the copyrights so it's kind of cool let's do the same thing and as you could see this one just gonna show you guys if you don't save it with the clear background you could always go on Cricut and click your select and erase tool and it just erases the whole background for you. I'm going to change it to a cut setting. As you could see me do that, I'm just clicking that little printer button in a round circle. This is how I'm going to separate each cactus. So I'm going to insert the shape, the square shape. I usually work with squares and I'm going to place it over one cactus. Make sure it's not touching other ones. And then I'm going to select both of the images and then click slice. And it's at the bottom right corner. And once I do that, delete the square and then you have an extra little cactus and then you go back to that and as you see it's separated so you could do that to all of them that way you don't have to upload a bunch of cactuses you just upload that one image and then you just separate them <laughs> Thank you.
a little different from the regular iron-ons, but you apply it just the same as you would the regular iron-ons. And on Krika, they do have the actual setting where it says pattern iron-on. for watching this video if you have any questions or comments you could comment below subscribe to my channel and click that little bell button to get notified whenever i post new videos also check out my etsy shop also i do have an instagram where i post cute little photos of my personal life and also things that i do make but i don't necessarily have a video tutorial of it another thing i would love to see if you guys actually made something that I showed in my videos. Um, if you guys have an Instagram, tag me in it so I could feature you on my Instagram or just if you want to show me because I would love to see if you guys actually make my stuff if I helped you. That'd be kind of awesome. Also in all my videos guys, if you're actually going to make the project, click on the description below. I will post like the brands I used for the things that I made and also I have my links where you could purchase the items as well, where I got the items, and just little things like that. All right, again, thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.